guys it's Ada again and you are welcome back to my channel so in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make vegetable soup using spinach and kale um, I hope you will enjoy this video and please if this is your first time of coming to this channel please click on the red subscribe button to get subscribed and also on the notification bell to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. So for this soup, I'll be using kanda and beef to cook the vegetable soup. I just finished washing it and I'll be cooking the beef separately and the kanda separately. So for the beef, I'll be adding the three bulbs of onions to the beef and I will also season the beef with maggi and salt. So for the kanda, I will be seasoning it with only salt. So I'll be adding water to the kanda. You all know kanda can be very strong. And if you noticed, I didn't add water to the beef before cooking it. So this is what the kanda looks like after boiling it. We still have some water left and that's the beef. So the next thing I'm going to do is to sieve out the water from the kanda because I won't be needing all that water for this soup, okay? So I'll be sieving it out. Yeah, that's the water. So the next thing I would do is to pour the beef and its stock to the inside the kanda and then I will Turn them and stir them together. Here is the other orishi rishi I'll be using for this vegetable soup. That's the stock fish and the dry fish. And here is the ogiri okbei. You should be used to this by now. <laughs> so I'll go ahead to pound my ogiri okbei and also my pepper. And the next thing is to add um, hot water to the stock fish and the dry fish and then go ahead to wash them afterwards, removing the bones and yeah, all the bones in the dry fish. So after washing the stock fish and the dry fish thoroughly, I'm going to add it to the pot. I'm going to add it to the pot so it can steam together with the meat.
look at that <laughs> can you see how it looks so guys the next thing I'm going to do is to start seasoning this soup. First, I'm starting with the pepper. So I'll be adding the already pounded pepper inside the pot. And I'll be adding the ogiri ope afterwards. And after the ogiri ope, I added the magi, the, ma the no cube, sorry, <laughs> the no cube. I added the no cube, yeah, that's the leftover. So I added that in the pot. And also, I will be adding the crayfish. I'll be adding the crayfish to the pot also. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Can you look at that? Now you can see the water is very small. So I'll be adding a little stock. You know, the stock I removed from the kanda. So I'll be adding a little of it to this meat. Honestly, we don't need so much water. We don't need this to be filled with a lot of water because the spinach has a lot of water on its own so we're going to add very minimal water and the next thing I'll be adding is the red oil the red oil and lastly salt to taste So guys, now it's time to wash and prepare the vegetables. So this is the grown coal, I mean the kale. So I'll be washing this. I'm using two of that. So I'll be washing this. And of course, I'll be washing it with a little salt. Back to the soup so now I'll just taste the stock the soup to see if 
everything is in order. I mean, the salt and the taste. If it's not, I'll add whatever I feel that is missing. If not, we continue with our cooking. Now time to add the vegetable. This is the spinach and this is a frozen spinach. So I'll be adding it. I'm using two, actually one and I don't know if this one is, a, a, is up to quarter, but I've used it before, it's a leftover. So I'll be using that and one other full pack. So it's almost two anyway. So I'll be using almost two of that <laughs> to cook. Now after, now after turning and stirring it, what I'm going to do is I will just cover my pot and allow it boil for some time. May, let's say two to three minutes and then you guys will see what will happen. There'll be water, a lot of water in the soup. So that will enable me to continue my cooking. Yes, and the leftover, I will just keep it back in the freezer for another use. And now it's time to add the kale. So I'll be adding the kale now to the soup. I just found out the red oil is not enough so I'll be adding a bit extra and yes look at that our soup is ready our vegetable soup is ready so this is going to be the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll be trying out this recipe if um, you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up share with your friends subscribe if you have not subscribed comment in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video bye